Hello! My name is Sonia Leong and I work as a professional manga artist. I'm a member of Sweat Drop Studios and I'll be teaching you all about manga. In this video I'll be teaching you how to draw Sora. Sora is quite a, 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 quite a happy character. Um, he's, a, he's a young sort of teenage boy. Um, so put him in an inappropriate pose. He's quite smiley. So uh, let's put him side onto, side onto the camera. Oh, I will actually show his hands. Um, well, he's, he's sort of, um, he's kind of saying hi in a way, the way Japanese role-playing game characters tend to. The thing about Kingdom Hearts is that the, the, the proportion sets of the characters are very interesting because although they are Although they are mostly realistic, the, they do enlarge the size of the hands and the, uh, and the feet quite a lot. So do draw your hands and feet larger when you're drawing Kingdom Hearts characters. Now that I've got the basic outline done. I'm just going to add some details in. Let's start off by drawing his eyes first. He's got quite large eyes because he's quite young still. So. Got some highlights in there, just to Give him a little bit more of that manga anime kind of look. He's quite cheeky as well, so do make sure his uh, his eyebrows curve down a bit. Right now he's got some very very spiky hair, so um, it's um, the game doesn't go into too much detail really with um, with putting more details of the hairlines and so in, but it, it does have a bit of a side parting, so make sure that your strokes do come from that side of the head a bit. Now he wears a chain necklace around his neck. But what you do is you draw a quick detail of the crown itself in the middle, and then a a quick way of doing chains is thinner lines and then rectangles. So like a little oval, then a rectangle, oval, rectangle. Once you've got the overall pose of the hand down, then make sure that his actual fingertips are showing. And that's how to draw Sora. <laughs>